Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, fam, and thank you for coming to the channel. Now, we got to talk about a situation that was brought out today, to my knowledge, anyway. Or maybe it was yesterday. Either way, it doesn't matter. Nene, <laughs> Nene Leaks. Lord Jesus Christ, help us, Nene Leaks. Well, it seems like Nene is in some more trouble. She got served some legal papers on yesterday on something very frivolous, I think. I'm like, Nene, are you just trying to stay in the news? Do you think your whole persona and you just being here? Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, guys. Click, just click that button. Tap that subscribe button. Type that like button. And let's get on with it. Because you know it's always a family affair over here. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> but get back to Nene. Nene, I should say Nene. Because she pretty much acting uh, real crazy right about now. I'm like, now, Nene, 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 you are a rich bitch, remember? Why are we sitting up here hearing that you are getting sued by someone that you owe less than 2000 Why is somebody suing you for unfinished work and they didn't get paid? First is Sheree, then it's just Sheree again. <clears throat> now it's you. Like, come on. Girl, you don't have 1K in the bank? Surely you got 1K in the bank. You should have 1K on you. Okay? What is the story? Tell us the tea, Nene, because I just cannot believe you are broke. Okay? I, I, I just can't believe that. It's either where we're going to look at it as you just want to be in the public news, whether it's good or whether it's bad or whether it's indifferent. You just want to be in the news being talked about. Because I just can't dismiss that you don't have the money to pay this little frivolous claim that is against you. I'm like, girl, did you get the services done? Now, you know for a fact, if you didn't get the services done, that would be one thing. But if you got the services done and you just neglected to pay it on purpose, that's another horse of a different color. You see where I'm going with this, Nene? Do you see where I'm going with it? But we got a source called Radar Online. They broke it out for us. Okay, Ryan Neiman put it out for us on yesterday he titled his article ex real housewife of atlanta star nene leaks served with legal papers outside her 1.8 million dollar atl condo over alleged one thousand dollars worth of debt okay make it make sense fam make it make sense it goes on to say Ex Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes has been hit with legal papers by a Georgia photographer who claims she was stiff after she worked at the Reality Star Club. Okay, this is what RadarOnline.com has learned. According to court documents obtained by Radar Online, the company photographer by Ace LLC filed a statement of claim against Nene. Real name, Lanethia Leakes, and her business, the Lanethia Lounge in Gwinnett County Court. Okay. In the legal paperwork, the photographer by A said Nene and her club had invoiced, along with sent reminders in an attempt to collect payment for work done. 
The company said it had contacted the defendants on multiple occasions via email requesting payment to be made. Photography by Ace said Nene had been refusing payment and no longer is communicating on this. The company said Nene claimed the photographer had never worked for her or her lounge and that she has never paid me in the past for my services. The photographer wrote in her filing, I have complete invoices that show otherwise. All right, now Nene, are you taking a page out of Sheree Whitfield's uh, playbook on how to get work done and then at the end of things, you don't pay them? Is that you taking a playbook? You taking a look at her playbook and taking one of her plays thinking you can't pay for services rendered? Now, let's talk about that, Nene. Let's talk about it. Now, of course, if you went somewhere and you were buying clothes and you went up to the register and you demand that they give you your clothes without paying Nene, you cannot let someone do service for you and then deny them unless you all sat down verbally, and that's not really good. But written contracts and you sign on a dotted line that these things will be done for you by this company, okay? Did the people come back and tell you something different than what y'all had talked about that you wanted done? Did you attempt to talk with them <laughs> excuse me about the uh, price because I'm not finding you in a good space right now surely you got a thousand dollars as surely as can be or you don't need to have no club out there you need to go back working for the um, local market whatever that may be you need to become a regular citizen because it's uh celebrity reality star thing it's not working for you if you don't have 1k in the bank and i ain't talking about 1 million i'm thinking 1000 is what these people are seeking from miss lenithia leaks okay the photographer attached two invoices that are addressed to nini the first invoice was for 500 dollars and listed work done on october 30th In October 31st of last year, this is 2021, we are getting, we're like one, whoa, no, October will be here when? On Saturday. So, technically, you don't even have that to say it was like, well, it would be in October at the end. It's been one year that you didn't pay these people, Nene. Girl. But anyway. Uh, it was for a brunch and a Falcons Halloween party. Okay, the second invoice was for work done on November 12th and the 13th of 2021. The total was $500. The case was filed in July 7th. The case was filed on July 7th, and Nene was served with the legal documents days later. The process server said they waited for the ex Bravo star when she returned home to her $1.8 million condo, which she purchased two months after her husband's Greg's death. Well, damn, the market must be real bad because I thought Nene had sold that property. Well, maybe it's just up. Maybe it's just up there, and, and the market is not good for people to... um look into purchasing anything as far as a home right now okay but anyway going back to the article it says the server said they approached nene as she exited her blue 2020 rolls royce i delivered the documents to lanithia leaks with identity with identity confirmed by subject saying yes when named the individuals accepted service with direct delivery weeks before the lawsuit was filed the photographer posted two photos. Not one, but two. Let it sink in now. Two photos of Nene and her new boyfriend, Shabba Man. Okay? We're going to call him Shabba Man. We don't even want to identify him with that name because it's probably his name. He probably took that from someone else as well. Because we still looking at 
uh, did you say not, say not that misunderstanding? If it was a misunderstanding, Nene with his wife, or have you not gone to court on that, or have you already paid the lady off and it's just in the wind right now? Let a sister know, child. Let a sister know, cause we know this hell over him, and we find stories to talk about that we feel we need to talk about. We come onto the tube, and me and the family just let have, let have. They tell their opinions, I tell mine, and we just wait and see what's gonna happen to you. Mm-hmm. Well, the situation that's unfolding as we go along each day, each week, each year. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, Weeks before the lawsuit was filed, the photographer posted two photos of Nene with her new boyfriend, okay, shopper man at the lounge. The photographer also posted a photo with Nene inside the lounge on September 25th. Okay, of last year. It appears that Nene thought she was taking a photo with the fan with the caption reading, Closing out my birthday on a high note. Thank you, Nene Leaks, for this amazing photo. You rock. Right, Radar Online has reached out to Nene's rep for comment, and I'm pretty sure they did not return uh, Radar Online's phone call. Uh, going back to the article, it says a lawsuit comes as Nene... Um, let me see. Hold on, my phone was acting up, guys. The lawsuit comes as Nene dismissed her lawsuit against Bravo and Andy Cohen over discrimination from federal court. All signs point to the case being moved to arbitration where the parties will fight privately. Okay. Child. What y'all think about this bullshit? Do y'all think that she just put it out there for her name to be out there on the social media ways where people would constantly keep talking about her? Do you think she actually decided not to pay to have that type of action being shown? Or do y'all think she broke? Do y'all think she broke? Surely, I don't think she's broke. Is she still uh, calling herself paying utilities and all that in that $1.8 million condo? Is she still rolling around here in a Rolls Royce? Is she still trying to hang on Shabba Man? Is she still got her lounge down there? Surely, Nene could have paid $1,000 to the person that did work for her, especially if they pulling out receipts. So, y'all get down in those comments and let me uh, know what y'all thought about this thing. Do you think it's just a publicity stunt? You think Nene don't have a thousand dollars, or you think she just no, just not paying so she can put her name out there, and her name is being spoken out there by various different people. Okay, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more. Make sure you subscribe, you like, and you share my videos if you care. Okay, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye bye.